I'd say the question I get asked the most in terms of the technical aspects of filmmaking is how to achieve that soft focus or the shallow depth of field you're seeing right now. There's something about this effect that instantly makes a film seem more cinematic, more visually impressive. In this video I'm going to give you some tips uh, to help you achieve that effect. Now there are actually only three things that determine the depth of field that you can achieve on your camera. The first one I want to talk about is aperture. Now I'm not going to go into the uh, technicalities of how aperture changes exposure and how you compensate with shutter speed and ISO. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how to achieve the desired effect. So on the dial on the top of your camera, you need to select A. This stands for aperture priority. Now aperture refers to the size of the hole in the lens and basically the larger the hole, the shallower the depth of field will be. To make matters a little bit confusing, um, aperture is measured in f-stops. Now, the smaller the number, the bigger the hole. The bigger the hole, the shallower the focus. So what you need to do is set the number using the, the thumb dial to the smallest number possible. You should find that the depth of field is quite shallow on your subject once you focus on it. Now, the severity of this effect will depend on what lens you're using. I'm just using one of the kit lenses and you can see the effect that I, I achieved in these shots. Now, in all of these clips, the focal length, the distance to the subject, everything is exactly the same. The only difference is the aperture setting. And you can see in some of these examples, it's quite extreme, the difference. The second thing which might determine the depth of field you can achieve is the focal length. This literally refers to uh, the zoom on the camera. Now, check out these shots. In each of them, I've not moved the camera, I've not changed the aperture, I've not changed any of these settings. The only thing I've done is zoomed in. When you have a narrower focal length, so when you're at full zoom, you should find that uh, you are able to achieve a much shallower depth of field. The final thing that you can do to really uh, get that shallow depth of field is to move closer to the subject. So again, check out these examples. In each one, the aperture is the same, the focal length is the same, and all I have done is move the camera closer to the subject. And in each case, you can see um, that we've got a much softer background. So there you go, guys. The three things that determine shallow depth of field. I've tried to keep things very, very simple because if you want to find out the technical reasons for why this is happening, there's loads of resources online. But I hope it helps. Um, best thing to do is just have a play with it. Uh, go and experiment. Have a go with a uh, focus pull if you're on manual focus. Have a go at um, taking some nature uh, videos outside of insects. Best thing to do is just go explore. So have fun, happy filmmaking, and thanks for watching.